By now, you have likely made the switch from Windows 10 to 11. But did you know that there are some intriguing additions to the OS in the last few years? In today's video, I'll reveal 5 hidden features in Windows 11 that you never knew existed. And stay tuned till the end as I'll be sharing a recent addition that will unlock the power of your mobile and tablet. Let's start with a quick tip. When you're working on your computer, juggling multiple apps can clutter your screen with open windows. This gets irritating and as we all prefer a clean desktop, we either use the Windows plus D shortcut or the show desktop option from the taskbar to clean our screen. Now what if I told you there was a better way to solve this? When you grab any window by its title bar and shake it a few times, Windows 11 will minimize all of the open windows leaving only the selected one visible. And if you want to bring them back, just shake it again. This is also known as Eero Shake. To enable this feature, head to the multitasking section in your settings. If you have recently purchased a new computer or are doing a clean installation, consider enabling it right from the start. Managing multiple open apps or windows often involves clicking on them or using the Alt plus Tab shortcut to bring the desired window into focus. But did you know there's a quicker way to switch between them? Let me show you how. First, you'll have to enable this feature which can be done by going to the Ease of Access Center in Control Panel. Then head to this option. Inside it, check the option to start using Activator Windows by hovering with mouse feature. Now, when you have any background window open, simply hover your cursor anywhere on it and the windows will automatically come to foreground. This is all done without any clicking and removes the need to use keyboard. If you wish to revert back to normal settings, disabling this feature will do the trick. Among the many additions is Focus Sessions. If you are familiar with the Pomodoro technique, you will find this concept quite similar. Focus Sessions allow you to create a countdown timer ranging from 10 minutes and 4 hours. During this time, you can immerse yourself in the work without any distractions. When you use a focus session for more than 30 minutes, it will provide recommended breaks that encourage you to step away from the screen and recharge. Remember, taking short breaks actually boosts productivity in the long run. Additionally, to prevent interruptions from other apps, enabling the Do Not Disturb option with its settings is a useful feature. During your focus session, notifications can be muted both on screen and for sound allowing you to stay in the zone. This is an effective way to maintain focus on the task at hand. Here's the moment you have been waiting for. This next feature is probably one of the best additions by Microsoft. If you are an Android user, you are going to love it. Say goodbye to the need for a separate webcam because now you can wirelessly use your smartphone or tablet's camera for all your online streaming, meetings and other social interactions. In the past, we relied on a third-party app to turn our smart devices into webcams. But Windows 11 simplifies this process. Before we dive in, make sure you have the phone link or link to Windows app installed on your computer and smart device. Most new devices come with this app pre-installed, which can be found in your device's settings. Additionally, ensure that your computer has the cross-device experience host update, which can be seen in the Microsoft Store library. Once everything is set up, Head to Settings and navigate to Bluetooth and Devices. Under Mobile Devices, select Manage Devices. Click the drop down arrow for your device and there you'll find a new feature called Use as a Connected Camera. Now open the camera app on your Windows computer and if your smart device is unlocked, it will start using its camera. If everything goes well, you can use it in WhatsApp, Zoom or any other app. Do give this try today. Last but not the least is stickers. Did you know you can add stickers to your desktop? If you enjoy customizing your desktop, adding stickers can make it more visually appealing. Here you can add clip art stickers of a bee, broccoli, cat, etc. 
This feature is disabled by default, however, can be activated using a neat trick to the registry. First, open Start and search for Registry Editor. Open it using Admin Rights. Now, locate this path mentioned on your screen. Under the Device key, right click to create a new key called Stickers. Now, select Stickers and on the right pane, right click to create a new DWORD 32 bit value. Double click on it and change the value from 0 to 1. And now close everything and restart your computer. You'll now be able to access it either by right clicking on the desktop or from the background settings. You can then resize them and move them to your liking. Now there are a few important considerations. Firstly, you should be running at least Windows 11 22H2 build. Secondly, if you're using multiple displays or have the desktop background not set to fill picture or window spotlight options, the stickers option will be grayed out. These were some of the interesting features I came across during my usage over the past three years. And honestly, I've become a fan for most of them. Let me know your thoughts about it. Also, if you have come across any other exciting features, do share it in the comment section. Thanks for watching and bye for now.